FNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's see where everything kind of ended. You know, really not a lot uh, going on today in a major way. People kind of holding their breath to see what's going to happen with the rates. The SPY is trading at 563 off the top there. That 565, uh, excuse me, 566.58. Uh, we're looking at the composite trading of about 0.2%. Dow Jones Industrial just bounced sideways off 0.04%. Uh, the dollar trading up at 198, so right under that 101 level. Again, this is pricing in these cuts, right? You didn't. You should go listen again to the interview I just had with Tim Ward, and it was great. And he's talking a little bit about uh, you know potential pullbacks. One of the things that I've seen, you know, the past few times, and of course, you can't always just rely on what's happened in the past with it. But you know, it's like these cuts are kind of priced in, right? Are we pricing in a 50 basis point cut? If that's the case, we get 25 tomorrow. Do we sell off, right? And as Tim's saying, you know, if we get to that five, you know, if we did that sell off, we don't have a lot of panic, right? Which is the trend reading. You can go back to 540. Now, if you had something above 1.2 on the trend, that probably means you have the support there, and then we keep going up from there. If not, there's not enough fear. You can keep going. Uh, lower as well. Again, I would really recommend it. Checking that out. Uh, we're going to have that up for you on at TFNN uh, on the YouTube afterwards. Let's take a look at everything else. You have Apple up about 0.19% after a pretty uh, interesting day for it yesterday. You have gold contract trading off about 0.51%, 2,595. Crude oil still up a little bit, trading at 71.33, a little bit lower than it was, uh, but still up in that higher trading range. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Steel Dynamics which is pretty interesting if my thinkorswim stops, stops glitching out. Trading up 3.13, right? Steel has had some issues uh, recently, especially just with the general macroeconomic kind of environment. He had Nucor, which is, you know, it's the same thing as Steel Dynamics, said Tuesday that lower demand for steel in a weakening manufacturing sector and falling sales of its steel construction materials would result in a roughly 80% decline in third quarter profit, including one-time charges uh, from the same quarter last year, Indiana-based Steel Dynamics also forecasts the same thing. So something to keep in mind on that, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. Join us tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Uh, with Tommy O'Brien for the morning market kickoff. Uh, we're going to be covering everything going on in the Fed tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be super interesting. Folks, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you then.